Hello Mathematics students. In this tutorial, we are going to learn to find the point of intersection of two given lines. So, you have two line equations given to you. Let's call one a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0. Let this be line L1 and line L2 is a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. And we try to find out the point at which these two lines intersect. And that would basically be the solution, the x comma y which satisfies L1 and L2 as well. It is easier to observe this process with examples. So, let us take two example lines and find out where they intersect. So, for our examples, let us take L1 is 2x plus 3y minus 12 is equal to 0 whereas L2 is 5x minus 10y plus 5 is equal to 0. So, when we have these two line equations, how do we solve for x and y? So, the best thing to do is to eliminate one variable, either x or y and get a single equation in the other variable. So, what I mean by that and this could be done in two ways. One way is called substitution. In substitution, in order to remove one variable, we basically express the other in terms of it. For example, if I wanted to eliminate the y variable, what I do is I express x in terms of y. So, I get all x terms on one side. So, 2x is on one side and the other terms, non-x terms on the other side which will give me 12 minus 3y. This would then indicate that x is 12 minus 3y divided by 2. And then I take this representation of x in terms of y and substitute it into this equation, what that gives us is, suppose I substituted it now, I will get 5 into 12 minus 3y divided by 2 minus 10y plus 5 is equal to 0. So, we get 5 into 12 by 2 is 30, that is 5 into 6 minus 15y by 2 minus 10y plus 5 is equal to 0. That is essentially taking the y common, I am going to get minus 35 by 2y plus 35 is equal to 0. Cancelling of the 35s, I get 1 here, 1 here. That would indicate y by 2 is equal to 1. This implies y is equal to 2. So, because we eliminated the x here, we got an equation which is entirely in y which lets us solve for y and we get the value of y. Now, to obtain x, we simply have to substitute this value of y in this representation of x. So, we will get x is equal to 12 minus 6 by 2 giving us 3, which means the solution for these two line equations is 3 comma 2. x is 3 and y is equal to and we can verify this quite immediately by substituting these values into the equations. I will get 2 times 3 plus 3 times 2 minus 12 is equal to 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, minus 12 is 0. Likewise, 5 times 3 minus 10 times 2 plus 5 gives me 15 minus 20 plus 5 which is again 0. So, it is fairly clear that 3 comma 2 is the solution which satisfies both linear equations. Another method of doing the same thing which is to solve these two equations, we call it elimination and in elimination what we do is we again take these two equations which is 2x plus 3y minus 12 is equal to 0 and 5x minus 10y plus 5 is equal to 0. We again choose to eliminate either of these variables 
because we earlier eliminated x and got an equation in y. Now I am going to eliminate y and get an equation in x. And for that what we do is, we multiply this entire equation by the y coefficient in this equation which is minus 10. So I am going to multiply this whole thing with minus 10. And we multiply this entire equation with the y coefficient here in the other equation that is 3. What that will give us is, this would give us minus 20x minus 30y plus 120 is equal to 0 and this gives us 15x minus 30y plus 15 is equal to 0. And now what is to be observed is this is minus 30y and this is also minus 30y. Because here we multiplied 3 with minus 10 and here we multiplied minus 10 with 3. And that lets us cancel these off if I subtracted this whole equation from the previous one now. So that will result in minus 30y minus 30y getting cancelled. And here I will get minus 35x plus 120 minus 15 is 105. So, plus 105 is 0. And this would indicate that x is equal to 105 divided by 35, which gives us 3 times, so 3. And now I can substitute x is equal to 3 in either of those equations. If I substitute it in the second one, I would get 5 times 3 minus 10y plus 5 is equal to 0. This indicates 15 plus 5 is equal to 10y, which gives us y is equal to 20 divided by 10, that is equal to 2. So, we got our value back, the point back, which is 3 comma. This is the point of intersection of these two lines. So, if we plotted these, These are our line equations. Let's take the first one. I will reduce this to intercept form, which will have to be 2x plus 3y is equal to 12 is going to give us x by 6 plus y by 4 is equal to 1. So, the x intercept is going to be 6, this, and the y intercept is going to be 4, which is this. And so, our line is this is our L1. Now, if we try to plot the other equation, here again, I will get 5x minus 10y is equal to minus 5, which indicates x by minus 1 plus y by 1 by 2 is equal to 1. So, here we have this is the x-intercept whereas this is the y-intercept 0.5 here. So, this is our line equation 2 and clearly the intersection is happening here at this point which as you can see this is 3 comma. So, in this way you can try to find the point of intersection of any two given lines. However, you are likely to run into a bit of trouble in two cases and let's see those two cases. Consider these two line equations. L1 is still 2x plus 3y minus 12 is equal to 0 whereas L2 is 5x plus 7.5y plus 10 is equal to 0. If we try to solve this using the substitution method, for example, we would get, I would, let's say I try to eliminate the variable x, in which case I should be doing 2x minus 12 is equal to minus 3y, which would indicate y is equal to 12 minus 2x by 3 
which is 4 minus 2x by 3. And substituting this in L2, I will get from L2, this is from L1. And now in L2, if I substituted this, I would get 5x plus 7.5 is 15 by 2. So I am going to write it as 15 by 2 into 4 minus 2x by 3 plus 10 is equal to 0. This gives us 5x plus 15 by 2 into 4 is 15 into 2 that is 30 minus 15 by 2 into 2x by 3 is going to give me 5x plus 10 is equal to 0. And you see that 5x and minus 5x cancels and we come at this strange contradiction where 40 is equal to 0. And this is not okay, right? We know that 40 is not equal to 0. So, there is some contradiction we are arriving at. And what does this contradiction indicate? It indicates that there is no point for which these two lines meet. So, you can't find a point of intersection for these two lines. So, why is that? That is because they are parallel. We plotted these lines. We know that for L1, the intercepts are 6 and 4 respectively. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is our intercept for L1, x intercept for L1 and y intercept for L1 is 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. For L2 we have to see now, for L2 we get 5x plus 7.5y is equal to minus 10 which indicates x by minus 2 plus y by minus 4 by 3 is equal to 1. So, in x, this is minus 1, this is minus 2. So, this would be our point. And in y, this is minus 1 and this is minus 2. Minus 4 by 3 is a little below minus 1, which is about one third the way from minus 1 and minus 2. So, this would be it. If we plotted these lines now, we see that these are in fact parallel lines. They just don't meet anywhere, which is why when you try to solve for a point of intersection, you get a contradiction. So, here we can say that there is no solution for this system of linear equations. Now, in the third case, Let's look at a line equation which is our L2 with earlier that was 5x minus 10y plus 5 is equal to 0. And there is some other equation L4 let's call it which is 25x minus 50y plus 25 is equal to 0. So, when we solve for these two equations, now let me try the elimination method. So, I am going to get two equations again. One is 125x minus 250y plus 125 is equal to 0. And here I am going to get the other one, 125x minus 250y plus 125 is equal to 0. We have the same coefficient for y. So, if I attempted to subtract this equation entirely, I will get 125 minus 125 cancels off, I get 0. Minus 250y minus of minus 255 cancels off, I get 0. And lastly, 125 minus 125 again cancels off, I get 0 is equal to 0. So, I have this statement which is always true. 
unlike the previous case where it was never true, 40 was never going to be equal to 0, here I get a statement which is always true, which is 0 is equal to 0, independent of the coordinates of x and y. And this means something similar to the previous case, but not exactly the same. What is happening here is, since this is always true, it means there are infinite solutions for these two equations. If you observe, what is actually happening is L2 and L4 are the same line, which is why we got this entirely identical equations, both of these. Let's call this equation 5 and let's call this equation 6. And we see that equation 5 and equation 6 are the same. There is no difference, which means our two original lines are coinciding. If they are the same line, then we will get infinitely many points which satisfy both of them. So we have infinitely many solutions for these two lines. So whatever x you take, you are going to get a solution for that x. So in the graph, this is what is going to look like. We know the intercepts of, of our L2, which is minus 1 and y intercept was half. So this would be our L1. It is passing through minus 1 comma 0 and also 0 comma 1 by 2 and as we had found earlier, it is passing through 3 comma 2 as well. Now let's consider the other equation. Now let's consider the other equation which is L4 and we will have 25x minus 50y is equal to minus 25. This gives us x by minus 25 by 25 is minus 1 plus y by minus 25 by minus 50 is 1 by 2 is equal to 1. So again we get the same intercepts and thus L2 will have to coincide entirely with L1 and that is what is happening. They are the same line. So we get infinitely many solutions when we get a true statement, an always true statement independent of x and y in case of the same line. That is both line equations are representing the same line.